Doctor, can you talk about some recent studies and, and the results of those that, that have come out on uh, FICETIN? Okay, uh, no problem. So there's actually been, uh, I think, a couple studies that are very important that were done on mm -hmm. FICETIN, and they are important because they're really the reason that we, and I strongly believe that this has real potential to uh, decrease cognitive decline. And they both came out of the Salk Institute, uh, and Dr. Meyer was the re uh, lead researcher on both those uh, uh, studies. And one of them got published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Now for, you know, some listening to it, they go, what's the big deal about that? Well, the big deal about that is that that's the official journal of the National Academy of Sciences, which is considered the most prestigious sort of society and scientific community in the United States, you know, sort of like, you know, it's very prestigious. If you're an American scientist, your goal eventually is to become a member mm -hmm. of the National Academy of Sciences. It's about as prestigious as you can get outside of winning something like a Nobel Prize. <laughs> and so they have a, a journal that they put out, which is probably one of the four or five best scientific journals in the world, called the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. So a, th this study that sh basically showed that Fizetin, uh, through different mechanisms, can potentiate long-term memory enhancement is more than passes any kind of uh, snuff test or any kind of snuff test of the scientific community. So the scientific community got very excited from Dr. Meyer's work that showed that basically that physetine is able to act as a nootropic agent. And what we mean that is it's a memory enhancer. And the reason this makes sense is if you, through these different mechanisms, if, if you're preventing age-related cognitive decline, you're preventing uh, cellular death, and you're increasing the ability to take undifferentiated cells, make them into new neurons, you're increasing the ability to form long-term memories and new memories. So basically you're turning a brain, it's an aging brain, into a much younger brain. And so that's why I think a lot of the uh, excitement in the scientific community about Pfizer is coming from is that you have a couple of really good research articles pu just published in the last five years which show that on a molecular level and in vivo that this has real potential and it looks like it does actually prevent age-related decline and it does actually increase long-term memory enhancement.